Right, okay, we're going to start building the wing. It's a build up wing for um, a tiger moth. It's a uh, 2 meter 250 span. So, quite a big uh, model to build. Um, we'll cut on CNC router um, and using standard uh, 6, 8 mil balsa trailing edge 40 by 13. Uh, leading edge is 10 mil round and the ply I'm using is a um, a light ply it's uh, made from a popular wood it's three ply uh, so you've got a solid piece of wood in the middle and two pieces of cross grain on the top which is very uh, flexible and very light and very strong um, and obviously it's cut lightning hose in um, to all the parts. This is a 6mm part. There's a rib that uh, is 6 mil because of the uh, wing joiner. Uh, and a servo plate that's uh, out of 6 mil, So uh, it holds the servo quite securely. Um, the other ribs are out of... hose in that's the slots in there for the slots in there for the fits in nicely for the uh, cerebral okay so we checked everything out on it all the edges have been cleaned up I haven't cleaned up the the corners yet I'll do that as I assemble the wing but uh, Everything's ready to go, so here we go. We're going to be using PVA glue, a good quality exterior PVA glue. Okay, um, uh, so let's get started. Before we do get started, I'll explain to you. First thing to do, um, the ribs are set at 90 millimeters apart. Um, then there's half ribs or quarter ribs or riblets, whatever you want to call them. Um, in between those ribs, giving me a uh, 45 mil span across the leading edge, because this wing's not sheeted, it's a uh, nylon covered um, and then doped to shrink the nylon down covered wing. Um, so we need to mark out the 90 mil lines. I like to mark out the 90 mil lines on the leading edge, the trailing edge. And the two spars that run up through the middle. That way we're working to those lines all the way along. There's not going to be a problem. We're not going to get ribs out of line or twisted or turning the lifting the wing or doing anything like that. We can assemble it all, being confident that everything's going to line up on those lines. Always work to those lines. Plus, it makes it a lot easier to put in the webbing because we can cut that at uh, what's it going to be? It's going to be 80, 84 in most cases. When you come up against a 5 mil rib, it's going to be slightly smaller, so you might have to trim it. But we can cut that sheet of balsa and then slide it in, trim it. It's a, a, a parallel wing. The, the, every, all the ribs are exactly the same thickness, so there's no need to, um, to worry about the, the different cuts. So um, we just slide it in, mark it, cut it, glue it all the way along the way. If we get the ribs the right distance apart, all exactly the same, it's going to make it easy. If we put them in willy-nilly, we're going to be trimming this and adding bits and so, better do it. So let's, let's get on with that first. Okay, let's turn the camera Come down onto our... It's slightly difficult to show where I'm going and what I'm doing. So, what have we got here? So we've got a couple of lead blocks to use. We've got the leading edge. I've marked, uh, no, this is a spar, upper spar. So I've marked the spar with 90 mil lines all the way on, okay? From start to finish. Right then, so, drop that down. This is the, that's the, Lower spar. 
and this is going to be the top square. As you can see on this one, we cut the angles for the dihedral, not the dihedral, the uh, the angle for the wing. On this particular wing's, I'm not sure. Let's go and check. This wing here is five degrees. At the top wing, six degrees. Okay. There's a five degree angle there. 90 mil, 90 mil, 90 mil, 90 mil, 90 mil, 90 mil. Right, okay. So, let's drop that in place. So as you can see, we've done that. Now we need to mark the trailing edge. So the trailing edge is gonna run from the tip line. weights on top just to hold it in place okay and all we have to do take our square set to 90 drop it on here run a line from here You don't have to really mark the whole of the trailing edge, just mark the, the front leading part. It's quite okay there. So we mark this one here. Okay, line there, mark to there. Standard piece of 10 mil round dial that's what we're going to use. So we drop this in place. There. Okay, here we go. Let's start with building this wing. So as you've seen in the previous clip, that we've drawn all our lines for uh, lining up training edge, leading edge and spars. All the lines are nicely set up, marked, so that's all okay. Mark all them with a pen. So we've got all that done. So we can take all these off again. So that's uh, leading edge. You can see we've got all the marks there. Spars all marked there. One thing I'll say about this as well is that mark the ends with an arrow so we know that they're all the right way around. If not, we could get a bit of a 
Ziggy Zaggy going on. Okay. That's good. Alright, everything's more there. Need an edge. Don't need that one at the moment. Train an edge. Don't need that one at the moment. We just need the lower spar. Now, only. here. So we've got a dihedral of 5 degrees. So we've got a 5 degree line marked here. Okay. That's the tip down this end. So uh, there's the tip section. We'll drop that down this end here. Okay. It goes down about there. Spars are coming in on this line here. This line here is a spar line. So we need to set this one up on that line. At this point I just like to put just a, a little dog of glue there, not a lot, just a little dog, just to help hold it in place. After a while it starts jumping about else. So just a just a little block, just to introduce it to that line. We drop that onto there, that onto there. Bang away on. This is where your choice of wood is uh, important. We make sure we got a nice straight piece of. Timber. That's good. Both are dead straight. There we go. Just leave that there a couple of seconds. That will dry. There's our... Right, let's uh, have a look and see what we're gluing. So, here we go. Riblets. Oops. There. We've got our... our ribs for the um, root side and pop them down root side this side there these are all our anal ribs to go down this side we've got two special ribs now amongst these those two there that's the end rib up here. These go as and when we like. Let's put a big rib in there. It's there. 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 Um, here that gives me a five degree or 4.5 4.5 millimeter angle this end 90 degrees here okay so we know that this one we've got a 4.5 degree dihedral on the wing 
with our lower wings, 4.5 degree dihedral. There. So that one gets glued into that point there. So we know that that's right. So we're going to go with that. The only thing we need to do is just take the square the corners up. CNC program has a facility on it to, to cut these corners out. It's because I'm using a, a 3 mil router bit. It gives you 1.5 mil radius in the corners everywhere. On a square cut, it will give you a 1.5 mil radius. It's just about nicking that out with a file. The CNC, you can set it to go in 1.5 mil in both directions, but it does give you a bit of a weak points to those areas. So I prefer just to do it with a with a with a file. Doesn't take very long. It does mean you can set the gap you want for the glue as well, because uh, if it's too tight. It's going to push so much glue out. It's not going to. Uh, you're not going to have a nice joint. And if it's too loose, you're losing strength. So we need to set this one at the right angle. Hold him in place there. That will do us here. Get one of these. this one let's get these uh, cleaned out nicely and you see it's just a little bit of cleaning up drops on there nicely bit of glue I like to put my glue on with a, with a little stick I used to uh, used to do it straight to the bottle but I found I was using so much glue my builds were getting heavier and heavier so you only need to make sure spread the glue in and make sure it's absorbed into the wood everywhere and when it touches on to the wood at the bottom you get almost an instant bond let's just set that one up at the lip trailing edge there just to make sure we're getting them all tickety boo so that's just there right next one's this one same approach. Just clean out the, the corners. Let's get some glue on there. these two up. It's 
Nice there. Bit on there. Don't need it on there. That's nice. Long here.
right out, pop him on top, so he goes under there, Bobble goes in, Get it right. 
way in there.
So there's the wing in place at the bottom. This is the top wing. So it's in, you can just see that slight difference in angle. Bottom wing sweep back is six degrees, seven, six degrees, and top wing's five. Just gives you that little angle. And then this one here will sit up, up here, mounted on the box there, like that. Yeah. If you're wondering what these are, what I do is these get mounted in the wing, in the box section of the wing. They'll get mounted about here somewhere. Well, that's the back. Yeah, that's the back. They'll get mounted about there, in the box section that sits in there. And then there's a nut that goes through there, which holds the front top wing on. As you can see here, we've got a thread here, and a nut sits on top of there, and then this gets adjusted to adjust the angle of the plate for the dihedro, uh, not the dihedro, the um, incidence of the wing. You can adjust that from, uh, should be 1.5 I think to 2, something like that, but then that's adjusted. And then that sits in the box like that, plate sits on there. And a nut goes in there, you just tighten that all up. That's all set. There is a tube section. This uh, the uh, wings mounted with a tube like this down the bottom here. There, they go through there. So let's go and print. I need another two of them for the front. I think that's the back ones. I need to print two for the front here. Let's go do that, shall we?